Okay, um, so I'm going to talk about the meditation I did yesterday. Yesterday happens to be my 21st wedding anniversary. That's why we went to Black Island last uh, week. And I posted some of the stuff I did uh, in Block Island. And I'm going to share with you guys. I had a vision. I am a clairvoyant. This is for people because I will be posting on the YouTube this video. And so I had a vision in 2006 of making a significant life change into, uh, in uh, uh, this space. Because we were, I talked to my spiritual mother, and I'm gonna see that I can bring it closer so you guys can see it, right? So let's see the date. Let's see. I think it went sideways. Two thousand six, and I'm gonna move it. So to twenty four two thousand six, I had this, and I saw in my vision that time I'll be visiting a place like this, and it'll be like two different levels. It'll have, and I for some reason I assumed it's a mountain. And then um, when I uh, realized, like, you know, it kind of like felt like we were doing a journey, me and my husband. And for some reason, the top of that mountain I felt was looking like a turtle or a lizard. Focusing. And I felt like the train with my dad. I saw the tail end and the train. I was traveling with the, my husband. I saw the head end at that point where the top of the island starts leave. And at the top, it looked like a turtle. And then when we went to Block Island, it was amazing to see the same thing last year. That's when like last fall. Like, so you could see with clairvoyance, I'm ahead of time. That's the way I can describe it. So I could see where my soul was in 2006. So when I came across Block Island, uh, I was in fall there. That's when I realized I was supposed to be there. And so we decided, like I told my husband, because it is 21st wedding anniversary, that I really wanted to go for the shad bloom this year. So they do shad uh, bloom, like you know, it's like something they honor in that island. And so they, like you know, that's a, one of the tourist thing. And I decided to take up the tour director uh, training next week. I'm going. That's another dream I had that, that was like my soul journey. I'm supposed to complete it because I saw a Nautilus in a spiral on ITMI, International Tour Management Association's um, symbol or, or brand 
actually has the not a. So in clairvoyance, we get the vision first and then the word comes later, but my soul is ahead. So I really need to work through the process to get there. So, and we saw some energy portal, like there are a lot of, uh, and I didn't realize Block Island is like, was a safe spot, both for British soldier and American soldier. But anyway, so that, is, that being said, that is what um, I was working on. Yesterday, I went for meditation to a place and I, my highest soul realm is with abundance goddess. And my teacher told me he'll bring me home. We, we are part of his United Nations of Kailasa. It's 1008 pilgrimage places he's going to start. And he asked me to take a responsibility for one of them. And I asked him, can I become part of this uh, Lakshmi, abundance, goddess lineage, and he created a kingdom for us. And he is just like, they call it download, they transmit information via, he says, petabyte of information. So he already transmitted these information to us, but it's for us to like, you know, work through and come up with a protocol. And, and I think he is teaching weekly. Now we are at, um, 17th sloka, he says. I don't know how many slokas are there, but these are Upanishads. Upanishads means anonymous beings transmitted this knowledge. And so I physically put it through as two different books. I'm going to teach it in future, okay? One is Positive Anonymous 12-step program, which will be based on Upanishads because all these beings transmitted these knowledge as anonymous beings. These are cosmic law and order. And the abundance goddess who is an emperor who trains other kings for micronations, she's called Samraja Lakshmi. And all the future kings and princes and princesses will be trained this way in United Nations of Kailasa, UNK. And I also uh, know how to do cash flow, equity building and stuff. This is like part of my lineage, my legacy. I'm going to leave behind, leave behind. And that's all I want to teach. And uh, in a block island would be like a spa package I want to give and wellness tourism and stuff. So that's what I'm getting involved. So last night, I mean, not last night, like yesterday when I did the meditation during daytime, I see, because my abundance goddess, when I was praying to her, she was my trainer. She is my first trainer, I should say. In energy, she was working with me, but I also physically has to work with teachers. So my first teacher was Master Chalko Kui, who is Ram Avatar himself. Uh, Actually, there is a song. Uh, Ram, Ram, Jaya, Raja, Ram. Ram, Ram, Jaya, Sita, Ram. Ishwar, Allah, Tere, Naam. Sabko, Sanmadite, Bhagavan. These are all the songs they used to say. So, Ram is considered Ishwar, Allah, uh, like you know, Tere Nam, like meaning, like you are the um, embodiment of all these religions as well. And Ram is the first one who put into place all these Upanishads in 108 categories, and he organized it in four different subdivisions. And those were taught as Vedas, and application of the Vedas, Agamas, was taught by Ram himself, the first avatar. But Upanishads is the transmission of knowledge given by Shiva to Ram, and Ram continued his uh, emperorship. And the we were all forest civilization, and his consort or his mate was Sita, who is the lineage of this uh, mother spirit, and all these starts from Aditi. Uh, who is a material 
the creator uses Brahma. Brahma, Brahm means to expand. He uses her material to expand the world. And her world is to become a visionary for the future kings and uh, kingdoms, queens, like, you know, like all the emperors. It doesn't matter because in, it, it, like, it's not about like gender. It's about like uh, ruler, rulership, you know. So these are called Kshatriyas. So I belong to that lineage. lineage. So my mother's spirit, she put me in her lap, in her left side. And let me rest. She says, take rest. I'll take care of you. And, and I think I was, that's the first time I had somebody really like give me rest. You know, I always run ahead of myself. She says, don't run ahead. She says, I'm, I, I got you. So yesterday, this was another, um, I should say, upgrade. Because the first time I... I mean, I always had a connection with her, but like in 2000, I had a very intense spiritual initiation by her. So this happens to be like 19 years, right? So this time she did another, uh, like actually, I should say, Swamiji himself, in 2017, he brought us to Kailasa energetically. And I was in that meditation as well. I think it was done April 29, 2017. He brought us uh, to show how it looked look spiritually. And I saw like, you know, uh, my physical mother who now is transitioned, she's on the other side, was like almost like in a bike keeping up with me. Like, you know, she was like swirling around. So when I was ascending, she was going with me. So since they released the Samaraja Lakshmi, which is not available even into Indians, uh, they have only have 265 pages they released because most of the Indian scriptures were burnt uh, during Ghazini Muhammad's invasion. And most of the Guru, uh, like, you know, uh, Guru Sahibs or Sikhs uh, who were Sindhu uh, fighters, most of our soldiers were fighters. Uh, they stood up against these Muslims. They were beheaded. They, uh, they were slaughtered. Many kings were slaughtered. All their kingdom was taken. Their wife was taken into harem ship. So we had like a lot of atrocities committed uh, in India. So to rebuild it took this long. But I think all the higher beings are coming together. And uh, my... One of my spirit guides is uh, Periva, they call it, elder. His name is Chandra Shekhar Swami. And I had a very intense connection with him in 2001. And he's been guiding. He's also guiding Subramanian Swami in India. So, like, you know, law and order. Like, that's how Subramanian Swami also works. Because he says anything that's not right, go through the legal system. So, uh, Samraj Lakshmi is about cosmic law and order. So my teacher is training uh, Nityan and uh, Swamiji because my uh, my previous teacher Mahaguruji Mailing and uh, Master Chawakuksui they told me when I come across another teacher in person I have to honor if I align with them and even though I'm like you know following Mahalakshmi physically you need to be in the breathing space of your teacher to transmit that information properly. Because in India, it's about transmission of knowledge rather than teaching. And you could transmit knowledge even silently, but you need to at least encounter them once in their breathing space. So I did go and meet Swamiji in 2016, even though we were clairvoyantly. And I, since then, I think uh, 2018, he announced he is going to be in Divya Sarada. And since then, he said he's not going to have public appearance because uh, the government in Karnataka uh, almost tried to kill him. Like, I think, I don't know how many times, like more than 100 times. And he decided to take it seriously when they stabbed him in 2018, not to do this anymore. He says physically he has to be alive. And you could see a stab wound in his uh, tummy. The, uh, I think he he went through a lot. I mean, he doesn't talk about it, but 
when he was incarcerated, they went and violated all his uh, female sannyasis, the police themselves. And they decided to tell that it was him who was doing, they killed many saints, but nobody wants to take accountability. And I feel I really want to support people who wants to do the right thing. So he's in turn, he asked me to uh, ask for a boon. And I told him, I want to work with Samraja, I mean, Lakshmi. I didn't know Samraja Lakshmi even existed. And so he said he's going to bring me to the next level. So he released Samraja Lakshmi through us. And I think he started his process uh, January 12th with us. And then since January 19th, he's formalizing. So he downloaded this information to Sri Atmanand, uh, no, Ambananda, Ambananda, and who is like, you know, becoming our teacher to do the Samraja Lakshmi Pitika. And that, there is where the cosmic law and order will be revealed. So yesterday, like, you know, there is a specific mudra I use and I pray. And if you guys need to learn this, I have an ashram in Holliston. Uh, you can come and visit me. And it is globalashram.blogspot.com. And, but like, you know, you guys can go to any Kailasa. There are 1,008 Kailasas that's available. So um, I use a specific mudra that is turtle like mudra. And you need to have the mudra and then the, like, you know, a sacred space you will create. I do it with my heart, jnana, jnana yantra. Nyana Homa. And that's how I do mine. And yesterday I had an intense experience with some Raja Lakshmi. She allowed me this time, like she minimized me to like this size. And then she put it, put me in her left side, like you know, like a fold, a little fold, like almost like in a sleeping bag. And so when like you know, I'm like lying down on her thigh and sleeping. And since then, I learned that she is Bararoha, meaning she rides the elephant. She has the ability to jump on the elephant and ride. So that much power she has. And that's her vehicle that she uses when she goes to. So she showed me how she is doing. So she actually, it was a white color. Sari she was wearing. It had multiple folds. It has gold. Um, speckles on it and um, that's one of the thing hiranya varanaya hiranya rupaya hiranya bhagave hiranya pataye ambika pataye uma pataye pashu pataye namo namaha this is for shiva they say hiranya means gold so he he is golden hue uh, golden arms hiranya bhagave Golden arms, Hiranya Pataye. So he is the uh, mate of gold, mate of Uma, mate of uh, Ambika, and mate of uh, beings that is in a bondage, Pasupati. Same thing is said for Lakshmi too. Hiranya Varanam Harinim Suvarnarada Jasrajam. Hiranya Varanami, she's golden hue. She wears the golden sari. Suvarna uh, Radha Jastrajam. So her um, abode is with uh, uh, like, you know, uh, rubies and cat's eyes. And, and she lives in that city that's made with her. Her city is called Vijayanagaram. And uh, she sits in a gazebo that's made with cat's eye and rubies. So, and her umbrella is flat white umbrella. So she puts me in that white robe and with golden, like, you know, specks when you go near, actually, it's a white color robe and with gold specks on top. So like each fold, right? Like it has a little fold. So she put me in one of the fold and she commanded, Gajavati! So, Gajapati means the head of the elephants, who is Ganesh, right? Gajapati. And she orders him 
to take care of me. So when she's flying, she's not going to uh, be missing details. So you could also think maybe um, one of our vehicle is also operated by Ganesh. Like I don't know how to interpret it, but anyway. So then she takes off. I was thinking she was going to ride, but she goes at a full speed and her elephant becomes mass of antimatter. So I cannot even keep track of anything. And that's it. We are like, you know, in the open space, it's dark. So it was very interesting. But anyway, uh, she showed me her experience, but I am being watched. Uh, she's full speed going to whoever calling her help. Uh, but she's also like, you know, simultaneously watching over us as well. So like that's the experience she gave. I was so honored that she gave me that experience. And then I did go see her in the, in the temple in Ashland. And she had a blue sari on, dark blue with light blue uh, border. She was so cute. So I, I took some bangles to wear. I, I always like, you know, and then I went to Shiva temple as well. And he gave me a red prayer thread and the prayer thread are all trademarked by um, Shiva. And I did do a US trademark for that as well. So we do have a prayer thread trademark. We have a EIN employee ID number. Union uh, United Nations of Kailas is registered as the embassy of Kailas in Massachusetts. And their head of this, which is Pachchima Kailasa, Western Kailash is in Los Angeles. So we'll be putting together a program to combine us all together. And I am getting tons of blessing for doing this video. You could see my eyes, like, you know, I cannot even open it. And that's because Swamiji said, anytime I talk about him, he's going to be right in our area. So. Even if you watch this video, I'm sure Swamiji is granting this through you guys. So I hope I get permission to share the mudra and stuff. And I'll ask him, okay, if he does, I'll, I'll share it with you guys. He wants me to wait. He, want, he wants you guys to have the proper initiation because it can only be transmitted by Guru Kul kids. So I think I don't have the privy to share that information, but I am so blessed to have that experience yesterday with Mahalakshmi. And I'm so grateful. And I would share her mantra. If you guys want to recite that mantra, you can do it with me. And I'm going to do the mudra as well. Om Namo Bhagavate Samrajadaye Paramalakshmi Swaha. You need to say it 20 times. And Swamiji also said to start with Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha. Om Tatsavitur Parenyam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat. Om. That has to be said 11 times. And then Come to Mahavakya. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. This is Mahavakya. You repeat anytime you want to connect with Swamiji. He will do the initiation with you guys. And also, I would always start with Ganesh Mantra. Gananam Tva Ganapatikam Mavamari. Kaveen Kaveenam Mavamasravatam. Jeshcharajam Brahmanam Brahmana Spada Ana Shinvan Nudibi Sida Sadhanam O Mahagana Tipatai Namaha Gana Atipati is Shiva himself. Ganas are mind controller of the minds, and Shiva is a controller of our mind. The mind is depicted as deer, so he wears deers as one of his um, hasta, like meaning like in one of his hand. 
And I think since the, uh, my client is here, I'm going to wrap up. And I am so filled with this divine energy, and I hope this blessing reaches you all. Thank you.